somebody set up Instapy, which is an Instagram automation tool for Python. A couple of things you got to know about this project. After you download it, if you're on a Mac, you, you need a couple of things working for you here. So you need you need a version of pip, um, which is a, a Python package installer. If, if you type in which pip in your terminal and you don't have one, you're going to have to do a sudo easy uh, install pip. And if that doesn't work, you're going to have to Google it. Another thing is, if you don't download the Chrome driver and put it in the assets folder, uh, nothing is going to work here. And obviously, in the quick start, if you go in there and you set it up, make sure you put your username and password in. Make sure you know you can set some different parameters, like uh, you know what are the different conditions you want to like something, what are tags you want to ignore, what are tags you want to be interested in. I just have some fake tags up here about dogs. Um, but the thing is, when you actually go to move it to the command line, uh, for instance, if you go to edit your cron tab and you want to insert something, for instance, this is going to run every two hours, a um, couple of things. So you need to make sure you put in the absolute path to the Python file. If you put in a relative reference to the script, the cron job isn't going to know where the script is and it's never going to run. So um, just quit out of VI for a second. Another problem is here are the error messages we encountered trying to get this to run in, in the cron. The first thing is, actually the, the first thing is um, service object is no attribute process, Selenium, WebDriver, Chrome, service, whatever, whatever. And what's going on there is because if you look at the, where is this error being thrown anyway? Um, line 31, what's going on here is in Instapy, uh, is not in the init, it's in the um, instapy.py file. If you're using Chrome driver location. So Chrome driver location is, is a kind of a relative reference to the assets folder of the project in Chrome driver. When it's being called from the cron from the cron environment, it's not going to know where that is. So you need to change it to where your file actually is. In this case we're at users Mika Instapy Assets Chrome Driver. The next problem we encountered was um, a database error problem. It logs data to your to an SQLite database uh, called st you know has a table called statistics. Just so you can see how many likes or comments or follows have been executed, and that error is being thrown in db instapy.db line 46 in util.py. So if you go to the db folder, um, where is that file? So we are in instapy util.py. And what line was it? It was line 46. So if you look at line 46, it's going to make a connect statement. You need to change this to the location of the actual database, which is going to be in your uh, instapy slash db. And it's going to create an SQLite instance when you run it originally called instapy.db. So make sure you actually have that. And when it's running from cron, if you call the connection like that, it will uh, it will find the absolute location of the database and it won't throw another error. A um, couple of other things after you do set up the cron you will periodically want to check uh, you know when it starts running it'll open up Chrome you can check to see if any processes are running by calling PSWX and grep for Python if nothing's running then it's definitely not running um, and if you want to check your cron mail a uh, way to do that at least if you're on OS X is going to be uh, 